Okay. Seems to be a lot of commotion going around about everybody thinking everybody's built $100,000 cars for our OG Street Outlaw show that we start filming this week, next week. So what we're going to do is prove you wrong. Okay. 1985 Grand Prix. If you can find one of these bodies, they're usually pretty straight. You can buy them all day long for what three to eight hundred dollars for no yeah, body. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm I'm going to go look at a couple of them from three to thousand dollars. Okay. They were commenting it had a ten thousand dollar paint job. Not hardly. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to say what the paint job cost, but it wasn't anywhere near ten grand. I don't want to. The guy that painted it, I don't want him to have everybody in the world calling him and say, you painted his car for this, I want you to paint mine for that. Um, seats, the pair, $389 on Amazon, racing seats. What, what can you buy this, this roll cage kit for now at Morris? I'm not sure what Matt's getting on them, but you can go to um, Moore Race Car Fabrication and buy that kit as a direct pre-notched welding type deal and they're pretty cheap. This car's got a stock case 4L80 in it. So got some good parts in it. It's got an 8.8 rear end, nothing extravagant or expensive about it. Um, up here, it's got a stock block 6.0, stock LS6 intake. Got some good internals in the motor. It's got a supercharger. Nothing fancy about this car at all. Runs really, really well. You're going to be surprised when we get it out and start racing it. What I'm getting at is there's no, this is nowhere near a hundred thousand dollar car. People whining and crying about that shit. You, I could build this car for probably, I'm going to say twenty grand, twenty five max. Now. Can you build it in two weeks for that? I mean, I don't know what people make at their jobs, but I'm just saying, if you wanted to build this car over a year or two, it wouldn't be that hard to do, spending four or $500 a month to build you a car. So it's very, there's, there is some cars coming out that are probably $100,000 cars. This is not one of them. And they're gonna get their feelings hurt when they pull up beside this. But, I mean, this is a, a very basic hot rod. It's pretty fast. It's got air conditioning, and it's affordable. Like I said, you might not build it in two months. You might not build it in six months. It might take you a couple years to build it. But it's very, this is a $100,000 plus car right here, not this. Plain and simple. I mean, if you can't build this for a, what I can build it for, I mean, I'm not talking no sponsored parts or nothing. 20 to 25 grand, you can build this car. Especially if you can do labor yourself. You know, labor's what kills you. Well, mo most of the people that are that are talking about that are garage mechanics anyway. You know, they're, they tinker with their own stuff. Right. I mean, we redone, we did the, a lot of it ourselves. I mean, headliner, carpet, and so on and stuff. I mean, we did, we did the brakes. We 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 upgraded the front brakes. It's just you know a lot. Some of it we didn't do because we were on the road, but it's all doable. They make kits to put LSs in these. I mean, there's no major chassis shop fabrication here other than I had the guys build a cage. Most everything on this is bolt on. It's not rocket scientists to put one of these together. And the only reason that they wanted to build the cage is because they wanted to use this car as a template so they could start selling these because they didn't have a tent. They didn't have any cages out for G bodies. And it was one of the most requested cages they didn't have. So, I mean, there you have it. I mean, there's just, it's a cool, good looking car. It's fast and it is pretty budget friendly. I, mean, I don't know what else I can say. Pretty simple to work on. I mean, it's, it's your basic LS motor. Um, I don't really 
see nothing that sticks out that's just super expensive that's going to make it hard for somebody to acquire the, them parts. No, I mean, I mean, honestly, no. I mean, I was sitting there thinking we probably got more money in the <laughs> in the tires and wheels yeah, I mean, than most parts. It's, uh, I don't know. You know, I think most of them comments were probably just coming from my typical haters that like to show up on that page every time I post something. And they ain't got nothing better to do. It was Friday, they got off work early and they thought they'd bash on moms of the day. <laughs> I got big shoulders, I can take it. You don't think I won't bark back. See, it, it even has a sub box and an amp. Yeah, we got the tunes and... And we're getting ready to start racing soon. Yeah, our, I think our first race is next Wednesday. So that's what we're trying to get finished up tonight so we can get out and make some more test hits. We found a couple things we didn't like on our maiden voyage cruise we did the other night in Viridian. Just a couple little things. One of them was with the air conditioner. We're not gonna have that not working right. And I've been cleaning some stuff up this week. To your light. Let me grab it. Let me have it real quick. Well, one of the other things you probably you seen in our last video, you heard the rattle and the when we was driving the car. It was because the cup holder and our koozies for our, our cup holders are are metal, so they were rattling. So we had to come in here and put some plastic around the edges so they don't rattle. Yeah, that'll drive you nuts. But. And then again, most everything's hooked up to factory gauges. It does have an aftermarket tack in it. Other than that, everything in there is factory. This is about as plain and simple as it can get. Now, I will tell you this right now. If we go out here and we race this season and we get our ass kicked a lot, there'll be some... There'll be some major upgrades done to this car over the winter that you might be not... But might not be real budget friendly because we're not going to get our ass kicked every week. But I think if we're racing on not stellar racetrack roads, this car will do just fine. So from what I felt driving it, what John's felt riding in it, I think we got a good, fast little hot rod here. It moves. It moves. So, and by the way, that uh, fiberglass hood, I just happened to get lucky and found a place that had that. Somebody had ordered it and didn't come pick it up, and I had it in three days. And it takes 20 weeks right now to get anything fiberglass. So I think this was all meant to be and kind of fell right in place. Definitely going to be fun. So well, Dick, make sure you keep watching uh, the videos. Like, comment, subscribe, share. We're going to do, do some good more stuff. videos over the next couple days. We get it out and test it and do some more testing, and we'll make some more videos of that. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you again.